Now we come to some simple examples showing uh, commercially how clouds are used. The first of this uh, graph comes from Microsoft, a little online report I discovered. And it points out that a typical data center is only, uh, each CPU is only used 10% of the time. That's because each of them has its own custom installation and you have to have a separate machine for each of them. With virtual machines, I stress that you could actually pack lots of disparate applications on the same machine because you were doing it with, um, with actual images which have the operating system combined with the application. So you can do a consolidation. So instead of running a 10% utilization, you run, uh, you do a six to one consolidation and get to a 60% utilization. A nice feature of the uh, virtualization model because you have the whole thing packaged relatively easy to move it from one machine to another if a particular machine gets too busy. So this gives you, um, for this particular example here, which Microsoft gives of the six to one consolidation, the operating costs of this facility were reduced uh, by 60%. Here's the new one, and here's the old one. Here's a slightly different example, which of a related uh, comparison from Google, uh, which stressing Power efficiency, which is sort of related to cost efficiency. It looks at small, medium, large um, business email systems compares to Gmail. The large is 10,000 users. And we look at the energy cost of that facility per user. <coughs> we see Gmail is about 100 times more efficient than the small business one. Um, this is just due to the economies of scale, but also just to the, the data center itself. There's the par usage effectiveness, which if one says the par needed is exactly, the par used is exactly the par needed by the CPU, which then be the servers. So that's PUE of one means that. If it's 2.5, it means that you're using 2.5 times as much par for your data center than what you need for the servers in your data center, so that's not so satisfactory. And you can see modern clouds here down at 1.16. That's typical, I think, you know, 1.1 to 1.2. Maybe I don't think many get quite down to 1.1 anyway. So this 1.16 is a very competitive number. And it's only 16% off the optimal value. So there's been an enormous um, insistence on looking at how to run clouds efficiently. And this BUE number has gone down both in clouds and actually outside clouds, because the work of these giant Companies trying to make clouds to work well is carried through uh, to other computer centers. So everybody runs more efficient computer centers now due to the leadership of clouds. So that's the end of this presentation. Uh, we have two more on clouds, which, uh, well, which uh, on the, uh, you'll find on the MOOC. And I look forward to meeting you again in another uh, presentation of this set. Thank you very much, this is Jeffrey Fox signing off.